Hey guys, so I was asked to do a little video on my antenna tracker ground station. So uh, I'll do a little kind of walkthrough, and here we go. Uh, this is a Gatling, True RC Gatling antenna. Also got a True RC Singularity. Uh, the pan tilt mechanism is from Servo City. I put a link to it in the uh, in the video description. I also cut out about an inch here and I also removed the vertical piece here which uh, required the use of another adapter and I'll put the link to that also in there. And there's a bubble level and a compass. Uh, here you can see the antenna for the uh, 5.825 milliwatt uh, relay, 5.8 relay. Uh, inside, it's a 5-inch boss cam monitor I've had for years. Uh, next to that is the eagle eyes for diversity and tracker control. One of my favorite things is the uh, FPV Japan DVR which is no longer available. It has an internal battery. It's charged directly from the ground station power and it is also wired. Coolest feature in the world. It is wired so that one flip of a switch and it powers on and starts recording. And so over here, over here, we have a power switch. Powers the whole thing. And flip the DVR switch. And it actually powers up the DVR and begins recording cool as hell because I'm always forgetting to turn the damn thing on. Uh, it's got a huge battery tray right now this is an 8000 milliamp 3S and I made those I, need, I made the trace uh, big enough to put two of those in there or just about any combination of 3S batteries you want to put in there. Oh, also power panel up here Eagle Tree that uh, displays the GPS coordinates. Uh, the back let's see there we go the back comes off it's held on by a couple of screws here so I can get at the two racewood uh, RX's here is the uh, Here's the original Beta Dragon Link LNA that I installed. And just for simplicity's sake, because there's, it's so tight in there, I opted to put the, uh, the second LNA up here, actually on the antenna mount. Uh, works good. Okay, so uh, construction wise, top and bottom are inch and uh, one and a half millimeter carbon fiber plate I picked up at. Uh, a loft, put a link in it in the description. Six inch long aluminum standoffs I got from McMaster Car. Uh, the tray, uh, the, the middle plate here, and the uh, vertical sides are AB, eighth inch ABS. And they are actually glued to the aluminum, the aluminum standoffs. The carbon fiber all uh, comes off. Uh, by removing screws. Remove a pinch bolt here and the entire top of the tracker will come off. Have to uh, unplug two wires there and two ca uh, cables there. Three wires and two, two uh, antenna leads and that whole thing will come off. Can also remove four screws here and just take the antenna off. Uh, and that's about it. Works super good. Hope that helps.